Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Keisha, and welcome back to day five of my Basel School series. In the last video, we talked about course outlines, and if you missed it, don't panic, because you can click the link to see it right here, and the link will be down in the description box. Today, we're going to be talking about PowerPoint slides. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and click the red button to subscribe if you haven't already. In high school, this was definitely uncharted territories. You only made PowerPoints for presentations or whatever. But in university, this is how most of your professors are going to teach you information. I pretty much think all of your professors are going to teach you on PowerPoint slides. When you're taking notes from PowerPoint slides, it's definitely important to remember that if it's on the slide in general, you're going to need to write it down. Now, it depends on your teacher because sometimes your teacher puts things on the slide that are kind of irre irrelevant or they make like a lot of information on the slides that you don't need to write down. But just if they're repeating something over and over and over again, definitely something you need to write down. Another tip for this is that I know a lot of professors, they actually put up the slides on your school Moodle which I talked about in the last video they put up the slides in the school Moodle that you can download before or after the class you can print them out and be able to take your notes on that so you don't have to rush and write whatever is on the slides because you already have the information down this is really great and I love professors that do this because it allows you to listen to what your professor is actually saying rather than copying everything off the board it helps you to take less notes but take smarter notes because you'll be only taking what they're saying you don't have to rush to write down whatever's on the slide now this definitely depends on if the teacher posts them. I know some teachers don't post slides at all, but some teachers do. The reason why a lot of professors don't post them is because sometimes students would just download the slides and then not even attend class. But definitely, even if they have slides, definitely go to class because there are things that they will say that are not in the actual um, not in the slides and on your exams there are some things that are going to be from the lecture there's some things that are going to be on the, from the slides and there's some things that are going to be from your textbook so you're going to need to have all three of the notes for the teachers that do post them definitely take advantage of the fact that they did post them online and use them to your advantage so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your powerpoint slides into neat and organized notes i'm going to pan you guys over to my laptop to show you guys what i'm doing Okay, so basically, once you download your slides, it's going to open up like this into your PowerPoint. And so this was my ethics lecture, ethics and research lecture in my communications class. But I'm going to use it as an example. So right here at the top on this ribbon thing right here, you have the normal view, the outline view, slide sorter, and all these other handout, whatever things. So if you're going to print it out directly like this, I suggest going into the handout master. I'm printing it off like this. I don't know why they're not actually showing up, but you could do this if you want. You can, you know, organize how many slides per page you want and just however you want to do it. Personally, I don't like printing out the entire box because I feel like that's a lot of space that you're wasting. So just go into view, I go into outline view, and it brings up just the text. So all of the text that's inside the slide, that's what it gives me. And then I go here, I click select all, I copy it, and I go into my WordPerfect document, and I'm going to paste it there. Now, this, she had answers in like slides, so I'm going to just take them all off, because I don't want all these little quiz answer thing, so I'm just going to take that off. I don't need that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through it and click what I want. So I want ethics and research to be the title, and I like doing my titles in gray, and making them to size font 18. Going up here, and I'm gonna type in what was this? Com 2000 uh, qualitative re research. Oh gosh. <laughs> and then Casey Adams. All right. Let's go to the right and split you up. Good. You can add a page number if you want. I don't really feel like doing it right now, but you can do that. And so what are ethics ethics is going to be the title. So then I like going through here and just making it how I want it to look. So now we've reached the end and we can get rid of this page. Okay, so basically this is what my notes look like. These are directly the slides, everything that is in print from the slides onto Word document. Now this still looks like a lot of writing. So what we're going to do is press Control all and we're going to change the page layout and we're going to put it into two columns. Right away, 
it's so much shorter, but it's still a little bit weird and spaced out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the font. I like putting it to a 9 font because I have no reason for it to be that big. And I like putting it in Times, times, times New Roman. Right, that's the thing. So right now we just went from two pages to one page. Like that's pretty amazing. And then you can just play around with it until you're satisfied with how big it is. I like putting the spacing at one. I don't really feel like the spacing should be that big. And you can just make it however you want it to look. And when you're done, you print that out and you can write on it. And that is your lecture notes for that class. You just shrunk five pages of slides into one page of text. And then you can always print this out and take notes on this sheet if they print it before class, or you can do it just after, cl after class just to make sure that you have the notes. You can do it however you want to do it, but that is basically how you take their slides and make them into concise notes. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful, lovely people in my next video. Bye!